said this before in my other video when I was talking about NBA 2K20. I don't like to complain about NBA 2K20 anymore. I really don't. Everyone gets the point. Everyone understands that the game is not really that good and there's a lot of broken things about it. But this right here, this should be taken as the exact same way that Ronnie 2K, that we took Ronnie 2K when he lied about the release of NBA 2K20, when he lied about all the features that were in it, the new parks, the respecting your builds. We should treat this the exact same way because this right here is a blatant lie and there is multiple 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 videos multiple blog posts multiple multiple pieces of evidence of them saying before nba 2k20 came out that there were going to be changes and that this specific example was not going to be in the game we fast forward to nba 2k20 and it's exactly what they said it was not going to be so what i'm talking about is that in nba 2k20 is my team it's literally no different than nba 2k19 in terms of lineups you can now run completely unrealistic lineups and the crazy thing about this is that blows my mind is that there's people in the my team community who sit here and they defend this i tweeted out a couple tweets and there's people defending nba 2k20 saying i don't see the problem with this i'm gonna go ahead for you guys who don't understand what's going on i'm going to showcase you evidence and proof of why this is an issue of why a company should not be able to lie and manipulate us into purchasing the product in hopes of a better you know outcome a better experience because right now the experience isn't good for really anyone that plays nba 2k20 my team because people tend to ignore that this is an actual thing that happened this year i don't see enough people talking about this i've seen dbg talk about it i've seen other people talk about it but i don't see enough people talking about a fact that nba 2 k 20s my team development team and everyone working over there straight up lied and manipulated millions of people once again with nba 2 k 20s my team now let's jump into this so first i would like to show you guys a blog from the official nba 2k20 my team development team let's go ahead and read this real quick so the first paragraph says and the dev team agrees in nba 2k 20s my team you will no longer see diamond andre karolinko lining up against you as the opposing team starting point guard personally a very welcome change hold on let's run the tape real quick of the people that you can run at point guard in nba Bruh, 2k 20 look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the f <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. I'm really confused on what I'm really confused on is how people had such negative energy towards Ronnie 2K and about how he lied about features when the my team development team literally this proof right there that i just showed and that's just a little bit of proof there's so many pieces of evidence of proof of them lying it's literally the exact same thing that ronnie 2k did that the my team development team did this year with my team they straight up lied there's no way around it now i played i showed you guys the first part of the my team blog now i want to show you the rest of the blog so the rest of the blog reads this this year players will only be able to start or be substituted into their primary or secondary position as shown on their player card i know take in what that means the immediate advantage to this is no more goofy lineups like the karolinko example i gave above hold on one second let me show you an nba 2k20 lineup that you can make right now and keep in mind this is just one lineup look at this Jokic at point guard, Dirt Nowitzki at shooting guard, and you have three other seven foot players in your lineup. So if you think about that, that is five seven foot players in the game. Let me go ahead and compare this to a NBA 2K19 lineup for you guys who don't understand what I'm saying. Look at these two pictures. Please, someone, please tell me the difference. A lot of you guys are going to say, oh, Shaq is better than Jokic. That's not the point. The point is that you can do the exact same thing that you did in NBA 2K19 that made the game so unenjoyable that you can do in NBA 2K20. 20. I almost said 2K21. On top of that, you guys released a blog and you went live on TV, whatever the case was, with Two Bros Gaming and said to the fans, to the people who spend their hard earn money on the game that this was not going to be a thing again 
hey look nba 2k my team developers two bros gaming don't block me for this but take a look at this this is evidence that you straight up just lied to every single person where is your responsibility where is the fact that you guys knew that you could quote unquote put position locks so you could just drop out of position players and therefore profit on it more and do the same thing that we did in nba 2k19 where is the energy towards this that we had for ronnie 2k i don't understand i i just don't get it anyways let's finish the rest of this blog so then they said what we have found internally is that you really have to put a lot of thought into building your lineup don't worry we have basic rules in place to ensure that you have a significant amount of players at each, each position in your lineup to account for injuries and fatigue the lineups we are seeing this year due to this are much more varied and realistic much more varied and realistic okay all right how how about this varied and realistic what is realistic about dirk Nowitzki playing the two what is realistic about nikola Jokic playing the one what is realistic about any of this game mode none of this game mode is realistic please don't say realistic because this game mode is not realistic so once again another lie you will see more chris paul and isaiah thomas cards out there this year as you would expect Players like them have never had a higher value than they will now. Have never had a higher value than they will now. Are you kidding me right now? Nobody in nobody who plays NBA 2K20, my team, and knows what they're doing, runs a point guard under 6'3". Nobody. And if they do, there's a couple people who probably do. But people who play my team, okay, and are really invested into the game mode, are not running Chris Paul at point guard. They're not running Isaiah Thomas at point guard. They're not running John Wall at point guard. Kyrie Irving at point guard. Some people run Curry. But the majority, like 85% of this game modes, the community, are running Giannis, are running Thon Maker are running LeBron, Ben Simmons. Nobody is running those players. So you saying that these players are going to have value does not make any sense. You releasing these cards that are glitched and out of position and are against what you promised to the fans who play this game mode it is not the case because the value of those players goes down because nobody uses them nobody uses galaxy opal Kyrie. nobody uses galaxy opal chris paul i don't even know if they have a galaxy opal chris paul but nobody uses these players so you saying that they're going to be valued higher than ever is once again another lie this entire blog post that i just showed you is a bunch of lies none of this stuff checks out and it's funny because people just want to let this go people want to just be like no phantoms you're complaining the game mode actually has really good rewards okay sure you can say that all you want but when it comes down to the integrity and being honest with people who play the game mode how are you going to sit here and defend this how are you going to sit here and defend people who went live wrote a blog post hyped everyone up about the game mode and the game comes out and it's a bunch of lies once again nba 2k20 you have no credibility when it comes to creating a game you are never honest with the fan base and you lie to people time and time again i don't even play my team i don't even play it the reason why i don't play it is because the gameplay mechanics are broken and i don't want to go up against the guy who has all galaxy opals and is running seven foot point guards when i'm just simply trying to play my team because i miss the nba please please listen to me okay two bros gaming anyone who works at 2k please i'm 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 asking you in a very polite way okay because this is very frustrating to see this happen every single year in nba 2k 17 nba 2k 16 nba 2k 15 this was never a thing never in my life when i played nba 2k 15 and 17 my team and i actually cared about the game mode did i see people running these seven foot point guards seven foot shooting guards centers playing small forward centers playing power or centers playing shooting guard point guard whatever you know what i'm talking about i've never in my life seen that nba 2k 15 people actually ran legitimate lineups nba 2k 16 people actually ran legitimate lineups nba 2k 17 people actually went ran legitimate lineups and you had people excited for nba 2k 20 okay you had people excited for the fact that this was going to be a pure game mode and look i know what you're doing i get it it's quite obvious that you guys are trying to make as much money possible especially during this quarantine which is the amount of content you have released but this is absolutely insane you simply said there was a position lock for the purpose that you could release out of position packs and make more money on something that you thought was a good idea and position locks were a good idea but the fact that you guys time and time and time again it never ceases to amaze me 
how much manipulation and lying goes on with what goes on at that company man i cannot believe like i'm actually frustrated you guys can obviously tell i'm a little bit more riled up in today's video but i'm just frustrated because there's still people buying vc there's still people sitting there defending the game like i don't understand like you guys are just like okay here's my money just manipulate me and take advantage of me every single year okay i don't understand buying the game sure whatever it is what it is we all miss basketball we're all basketball fans i understand that but once you see this going downhill in the game mode simply being a money grab and you're still buying the packs you're the problem you are 100 percent the issue but anyways enough ranting i'm done with this i'm extremely annoyed at the fact that this is actually a thing but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe like the video and uh dude i got i i, I gotta go for a walk bro i gotta go for a walk ah uh, let's see dude